Joining us now is O'Leary Ventures Chairman Kevin O'Leary. Always great to have you, Kevin. Um, North America's pretty big market for that company to have such steep decline. Do you think that Bud Light can ever regain its former glory? And what advice do you have for Anheuser-Busch? It's going to be very, very challenging. The beer market is very, very mature, and it's a 100% commodity. So over a year period, losing 15% shelf, linear shelf space, is devastating because those users who didn't buy it have changed their taste preference to something else now. In, in beer wars, it's not uncommon to spend a billion dollars to try and get one or two percent market share gains. That's been the situation forever. And beer companies, as you know, spend billions in advertising on every form of advertising, whether it's digital or whether it's traditional media. But this case was extraordinary. Um, this is probably a permanent loss for them. And they're going to have to educate a new generation, which costs a fortune. What a massive mistake. I, I teach this case in, in, in business schools because there's nothing ever been like it. And we talk a lot about the risk of social media. We talk about audit committee risk or, you know, compensation committee risk or compliance risk at the board level of public companies. Well, now we talk about social media risk and understanding the power of this, of this vehicle that can get unchecked and cause devastating outcomes. And so the way this was a mistake, they could have tested mm -hmm. this. There's so many ways to test the market first. They didn't. And they paid a horrific price. I want to change gears with you if I can and talk about Bitcoin. I'm talking that in the next five years, could Bitcoin really be the 12th sector in the S&P 500? No, not Bitcoin itself. Uh, financial services will now reflect digital payment systems as well. So the whole idea of changing how we do commerce using crypto technology, not just as Bitcoin, but a lot of different platforms, Ethereum and many others, are now being used for transaction at a much higher speed, much more transparency, much higher auditability. What we don't have yet is compliance law. Now, the reason you saw Bitcoin do so well is finally we brought the ETF to market that allowed traditional brokerage accounts for even individual retail investors, because institutions don't really use ETFs to hold Bitcoin. They do it on their own in direct ownership. But it shows you the interest in this form of digital gold. One to five percent allocation in portfolios has had this thing spike up to 70,000. The more we bring and the big act right now in Congress is, is the Stablecoin Act. Once we pass that, I do believe that digital payment systems will become the 12th sector of the economy in five years. Kevin, on to the issue of TikTok. I know you've been having high-level conversations about this. The House passed their bill overwhelmingly, bipartisan basis. The Senate taking its time, maybe dragging its feet. They want to tweak the legislation a bit. What are you hearing about where this process is headed? It's headed to getting passed is what's going to happen because I don't see many bipartisan bills at all. And this is one. There's an issue around timing. I, I think um, the owner should get 12 months to, to do, the, do the deal. It's a complicated deal. This is going to be the first transaction ever where you're going to need to know what the executive thinks about it. You're going to have to get sign off from the White House. This is the hairiest, most complicated deal I've ever seen. I love it. I'm definitely going to participate in the competition for it. But I've already started doing the work. I'm talking to both sides now because I have, a, I have my own solution. I mean, everybody knows this is China. This is my China phone. This is my TikTok phone right here. It's, it's a burner. It has no data on it. This is spyware. There's 100 percent the Chinese are watching this. I know that everybody knows that. They would never let us have an app like this in China. So why do we let them have one like this here? So, of course, it's going to get it's not about free speech. We're going to sell this to an American group and someone's going to have to rewrite that algorithm. That'll be me, I hope. But I've got to get I, I, on a bipartisan basis. I've been talking to both sides of the hill. Here's my proposal. Would you approve it if you were sitting in the White House? I don't know who's going to the White House who's going to win in November. I got to talk to them both. This is not a partisan issue. You want to know what Trump thinks? You got to ask him. You want to know what Biden thinks? You got to ask him. Because one of those people are going to be sitting in the White House when this transaction occurs. And I got to know they're on side to go raise the money it's going to take to buy this thing. Kevin, always great to see you and great to get your insight on so many issues. Thank you.